In this training video, I'm going to show you how you can actually download your friends list here on Facebook. This is a great way, especially if you're starting out in business to start generating some referrals because there's only so many ways you can generate leads. And one of the greatest ways to generate organic leads is by asking your network, your trusted network, network for referrals. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can actually download, print out your friendship list here on Facebook so you can go methodically throughout the list and ask ask your network for referrals, okay? So the first thing that you wanna do is be on a computer or a laptop. And then what you wanna do is obviously log into Facebook. And then what you do over here is you just click on your little profile picture in the top right-hand corner. And then you wanna tap on settings and privacy and then tap on settings. Okay, now we're gonna open up a brand new window. And what you wanna do is just scroll down until you find information. So it will say your information. And so the tab that you want to open up next is download your information. So we'll tap on that. And then it's just telling us that we're going to the Meta Account Center. So we'll just continue. And so what it's going to do now is it's going to ask you whether you want to download or transfer your information. And if you've downloaded any data before, it will be sitting here for you. I tested this out earlier to see how quick it was. So I already have a little download here, but I'm going to show you exactly how I downloaded this list earlier. So what you want to do is tap on download or transfer information. And now it's going to ask you which account do you want to download the information from? your Facebook account, your Instagram account. So all your accounts that you've linked with Facebook or Meta will be sitting here. So right now I just want to do my friends on Facebook. So I select that, tick the box over there and then tap on next. Now it's going to say, how much information do you want? You can actually download everything off Facebook if you want to, your photos, your posts, whatever. But for this instance, and especially because that's going to be a huge file, we're just going to download our friends list. So that's why we'll tap on specific types of information. And then if you scroll down, you can see everything that you can, uh, you have the option to download, but we're going to look for connections. Okay. So right now I just want to download friends, but you can do followers if you wish. And so I'm just going to go select friends and tap on next. Then it's going to ask you to download to your device or transfer to destination. We're just going to download to device. And then here is the date range. So you can actually choose. You're like, do I want to download my new friends from the last week, the last three months, last year, last three years, or all my friends I've ever had since starting Facebook. Okay, so I'm going to select that and then we're going to go save. Okay, and then we'll scroll down. You don't need to change anything here. And then we just tap on create files. And so what Facebook will do now, depending on how much data you have, it will take a few minutes. It could take 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, but you will get notified in your notifications here on Facebook when it's ready to download, when this file is ready to download. And then you'll also be sent an email. Okay. So when I did this earlier, I did a little practice run. It only took me about five minutes to receive received my email. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up that email for you, pretending as if it's just come through. Okay. It was sitting in my others folder. Okay. So you can see now that we got notified saying your metadata request is, is in progress. Okay. But I'm just going to go to my earlier one. So you'll get an email. So look in your spam, look in your others folder from meta. It will come from meta and it will say your meta information is ready to download. Okay. So we can just go download your uh, download your information and then it will open up a brand new page and you have to pop in usually your username and password. Okay, see how it says log in here. Or you can go back to your account center. Okay, you can go back here where it says access your information. And then we should have the ability to download it here. It will be... It's taking a while to download or it will be sitting. It will be sitting in your notifications. So see, that's what it says in the notifications. It says the files that you requested are ready to download. Okay. So we'll just automatically take us straight to the page. So here we go. This is the one that we're waiting for that we just did together. And this is the one that I got earlier. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to tap on download. Okay, and now it's asking me to put in my uh, Facebook password. 
So just pop in your Facebook password. Okay, obviously security reasons because we're downloading all this data and you can see now that it's downloaded, okay? So it's here. So what I do is I just tap on show in folder and then you can see that it is sitting here. And so what I want to do next is I just want to bring that over to my actual desktop. So we'll go back to the files. Okay. And then I just drag it across like that. Okay. And now you can see that it is sitting here. So the next steps you want to do is just double tap on that folder. And then you'll see connections files start here. Tap on connections, tap on friends. And then it will ask you, do you want to see a list of the friends you see less, people you may know, receive friend requests. Um, I just want my friends, okay? So I just tap on that. And then it's gonna open up this window over here where it's listing all your friends from your newest friends to your oldest friends, okay? So what I do next is, cause I was like, I wanna take this list, but if you go ahead and print this list, it's gonna be so many pages, like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pages, which is what you don't want because A, that's gonna be expensive. It's going to kill more trees and it's just gonna take a very long time to print. So what I do here is I just, I just use my keyboard and I tap on control A. All right, and so that is highlighted every single person on this list. I right click, I go copy, all right? And then I head over to Microsoft Office, Microsoft Word, and I bring up a blank new document, okay? So what I do next is paste. And it's gonna take the list that we just had and it's going to paste it here into Microsoft Word. And the reason why I am transferring the data over to Microsoft Word is because I wanna start creating columns and I wanna reduce the font so that when I go ahead to print, it's not gonna be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pages, okay? So this is really gonna save you time. Uh, energy and money. All right, so here we go. We've got our list, it's downloaded. Like you, you would have seen, it probably will take you like 30 seconds to paste that because there's so much, especially if you've got like thousands and thousands of friends. So again, I'm going to tap on control A and it's highlighted all the friends. You can see right now that this is, if I was to print it like this, it would be 306 pages. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of pages, okay? So I wanna make sure that we can reduce the page numbers as um, minimal, minimal as possible. So the first thing that I wanna do is make the font smaller. So I am going to change the size to about seven, enter, okay? If you need it a little bit bigger because you can't see it very well, then by all means do an eight or a nine, but seven works for me. And then the next step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap on layout and see where it says columns. I'm gonna tap on columns and then I'm gonna say, I tap on more columns. And then here I can tell Word how many columns I want. So say I want, let's go seven columns. Okay, I want seven columns, okay. And now it has arranged all the names into columns. And so that way it's just going to reduce the amount of pages that I'm gonna have because now I have more names appear on per page, okay? You can also go to margins and you can do narrow. And then it's just like, it narrowed the margins so it spread it out more, which means we can fit more names per page. So if we scroll down, we went from 306 pages to, dun, 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 let's have a look. It takes a little while to catch up, 41, okay? From 306 pages to 41. And so you can go ahead and just tap on print Okay, or if you need to save it onto USB and take it to an office works or somewhere to print, but now you actually have a list that you can methodically work your way through, you know, just one by one by one by one, asking for a referral, ask them if they're interested in taking a look at your product or your service, okay? And so now you have somewhere to start to, you know, start generating leads for free, which is really, really exciting. So I hope you got value from this video and now you are equipped on how you can go away and download your Facebook friends list.